People in Britain have always used some type of device to heat their homes in the winter, whether this be gas central heating or a fireplace. Then, in the summer the houses get too hot, and we invest in air conditioning units or fans. We treat this as normal, but should it be? In 1991 a physicist named Dr Wolfgang Feist built the first passive house. The actual definition is that a passive house is a voluntary standard for energy efficiency in a building, which reduces a building's ecological footprint. It results in ultra low energy buildings that require little energy for space heating or cooling. But to put it in more simple terms, a passive house is built up of the following six principles. Number one, proper insulation. It's just like wearing a coat outside when it gets cold. It also doesn't need a heater. Number two, no air leakages. There should be no holes, no matter how small, to let the hot air out of the house. Number three, no thermal bridges. A thermal bridge is like a road for which warmth can travel straight through your walls to the outside. Number four, proper windows. Most of the time this needs to be triple glazed. Number five, proper orientation. This is so the sun can heat the house in the winter and shade is provided in the summer. Number six, the use of a HRV or heat recovery ventilation. This device provides a house with fresh air without letting any of the heat out. Add all these things up and it turns out your house doesn't need a heater or air conditioner. So where does the heat come from? A passive house needs 90% less energy than our traditional British builds. This can be supplied by you and your family's body heat, the sun, a pet's body heat, and even the residue heat from your TV. This will save you a lot of money on your energy bill and is excellent for preserving the environment. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.